Hi you guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less. So I know that over the past few weeks there has been like this huge craze on YouTube about the Ross 49 cent sale. And um, I do want to start off this video by addressing something really quickly. I did get a few messages on a video that I posted like over a year ago about the Ross 49 cent sale and saying, oh, this is false information. Um, this is not a real sale. You can find some items for 49 cents, blah, 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 blah. Well, to address that, I simply want to say I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. This is like what the whole, um, the epitome of my channel of living luxuriously for less. If you want to go back and sort my videos from oldest to newest, you will definitely see that, you know, I used to do hauls all the time, Tuesday morning, Hobby Lobby, Target. I mean, you name it, I did it. And at the time when I started out my channel, I was in the process of decorating our home and now it's all finished. Um, so I don't really need to do that much hauling anymore because I didn't want to get to the point that I was actually uh, becoming a hoarder. So I stopped that because I didn't need anything else. And when I see something that I feel like will bless somebody else, then I will buy those things and pass those things along. I'm not one of those type people that like to kind of showcase the blessings that I'm bestowing on someone else, um, on someone else's life. Number one, because I want them to be able to keep their dignity. And number two, I just feel like, you know, when we bless people, and uh, openly, then we receive our war rewards openly from God. And so when we bless people in secret, then of course he rewards us in secret. So I, um, that's just been my personal philosophy. Now there are some times that I will share uh, things that I do in my community and that's only to inspire you guys to give back as well. So now that we have that addressed, um, I'm going to do a quick haul today, kind of showcasing some items that I picked up at Ross for 49 cents. Um, I also shared an event planning deal on my community. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram or here um, in YouTube on my community or Facebook, you are missing out because that is where I post some amazing deals. So I posted an event planning deal. I think it was late last week, so that came in. And then I also found a secret sale um, for some household items at the Home Depot. So this is gonna be a comprehensive haul. It's going to include the 49 cents item from um, Ross. I also got picked up a couple of home items and some event planning items. So without any further ado, let's hop right in. So let's start at the Ross deal. So here is my Ross receipt. I spent a total of uh, $37 and, a 40 and four cents. So $37 and four cents was my total. And as you can see, there are lots of 49 cents items and some items for $4.99, $1.99, $0.99, and the list goes on. Let's get started with some of my 49 cents item. The first item that I got was these beautiful tassel earrings. They were 49 cents, as you can see there. I think they would be perfect with like evening wear or a solid color dress, like the one I will be sharing with you guys a little bit later on in this video. I have been watching these earrings um, over the holidays. So the next pair are these beautiful earrings by, so the next pair are these beautiful earrings by Natasha. I got these for 49 cents as well. You guys can see that. And I, again, I think they're beautiful for evening attire or dressing any outfit up. So the next item I got for 49 cents were these huge gold hoops from Guess. I love a good pair of gold hoops. And sometimes, you know, I'm known to do things oversized. So these were also 49 cents. Let me, guys can see that there. And they were by guess. 
were the star earrings by BCBG, super cute, but a little bit childish for me. So I will be passing these on to my niece and I also picked these up for 49 cents. And let me tell you guys a really fun fact, like because I always find things on sale and I'm always gifting my nieces and nephews with a lot of expensive things, like they have no clue unless they watch my YouTube channel that these things are this inexpensive, but they all think I'm rich. I don't tell them any different, honey. I am rich in God. My father owns a cattle on a thousand hills. Okay. okay, so now that we have the jewelry out of the way, I want to share with you guys the big items I scored for 49 cents. So it's a big old bag of stuff. Not everything in this bag will um, stay with me because, again, I just cleaned out my closet and I'm trying to keep everything in order. So we're going to start with the home decor item I found, and it's this beautiful uh, picture that says Season's Greetings. Um, it was originally, uh, the comparable value was $18. It was originally $7.99 for Ross and it was on sale for 49 cents. So yes, this shirt was from DKNY, it was 49 cents. I love the fact that it's kind of see-through, it's sheer. Um, you can use it as like a, I don't know, a cardigan or something like that. But I thought it was super cute, I love the sleeves. And so probably something I'll be keeping for myself. Um, the next item I picked up was this zebra cami. It was also 49 cents. I thought it was super cute. Of course it looks a little bit big, but I need to adjust the straps. But I have like zebra shoes and things like that. I'll be mixing that with, okay. I love this long cardigan here. Really cute, it's like a olive green and gray and it was $1.99 and it is by Oliver. <clears throat> the next item that I picked up was this maroon or cranberry Calvin Klein dress and it was $2.99. The next item that I picked up, and this is not my size, this will be a gift. It's also a Calvin Klein dress and it's in a um, emerald, uh, an emerald, between an emerald and a olive, oh, maybe, what is this green called? It's like the green, the, the army type green. I'll think of the name of it in a minute. It's not olive and it's not emerald. But anyway, this color dress, <laughs> and it was $2.49 and it's, it is by Calvin Klein. The next thing I picked up is the same dress it is in my size, um, but it was more because it was a different color and it was like this purplish color or wine. It's Calvin Klein. I love the sleeve, the button details and the little flare on the sleeve. And it rang up for $4.99. I have been eyeing this blush shirt. <laughs> Thought it was so cute. I love the sleeves on the shirt. It's kind of like a sheer and it has pearls and everything on it. And it rang up for $1.49 and it's by Joseph A. The next thing I picked up was another long cardigan. I think it's another name for the long cardigan. If you guys can think of that name, type it down below. But it's like a turquoise -y color um, and it was $1.99. So I thought that was really cute and it had pockets. I'm all for anything that has a pocket. You can call them dusters too, I think. So the next thing I got was this um, Calvin Klein dress. <clears throat> and you guys know my husband's a pastor, so I'm always in for a good dress for Sunday. And we have to wear red the Sunday after Valentine's Day. So I thought that would be super cute to wear to church. And it's Calvin Klein again, and it was $4.99. So I didn't go just for the 49 cent stuff. I really went for things that I would actually use and I think that would look good on my body. Um, this is a dress by Taylor. It does not look good hanging up or, you know, but it's like it has the ruching in the middle and in the back. I think it's going to look really good on and it was only $3.49 and it's a great length because finding dresses in my size that are a good length is really difficult. Um, because most of the time I have to cross over 
to like teens and things like that. And so that stuff is really short. So when I can find Missy's um, dresses, Missy's dresses in fours and sixes that are a decent length, I definitely go for it. Here's another Calvin Klein dress. It has Calvin Klein at the bottom in the red and black. I think this is really cute and it could be dressed up or down. Um, the original price, Ross price was $39.99. And um, I'm not sure what the Calvin Klein price was, probably $79 or $89, $99. So $4.99 is way more than 90% off. So this is definitely a great buy. You know, sometimes when you're looking at things that are like 49 cents, you want to look at what the original price was to see if it was a really good buy to begin with. And then the last thing that I picked up was a Nicole Miller gift set. And it's a vitamin C and pink grapefruit, like facial spray set or whatever. So I thought that was really good as well. So that concludes all the items that I picked up at Ross. Now we're going to get into my deal at the Home Depot. Let me tell you guys this. Sometimes we can hold ourselves accountable for something that is not actually our fault. Okay, so the day I got married, I did not get my wedding ring. My husband had to put my engagement ring back on my finger because my wedding ring would not fit my finger. And I had lost like a ton of weight, like a ton of weight. I was probably like 111 pounds or something like that on my wedding day. But whenever I tried to put my ring on, it would not fit. Like the ring would not fit. And I think it was because I was nervous. Um, but I couldn't get it on my finger. Okay. So after the wedding, I just slept, I put the, tried to put the ring on and it, it went on. It was a little tight, but I was able to fit it. So as the years progressed and, you know, happiness from marriage and all that kicked in, um, putting my ring on got, you know, really difficult. So now I'm not 111 pounds anymore, obviously, but I was having trouble getting my ring off. So I had like this bad, 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 bad headache. And I'm like, could a ring too tight, like being too tight on your finger cause you to have like a headache to this degree? Like I felt horrible. So I was able to manage to get my um, wedding band off and the headache like instantly went away. So I was like, I have got to get this wedding band size. And I knew I wanted to do that, um, but I just never really found the time. I know I've been married seven years, eight years. I should definitely have made the time to go get the ring size, but honey, my life is busy, okay? So I went today to go get the ring size. And when I got the ring size, guess what y'all? The ring was a five and a half, and my ring size is a six and a half. Okay, so just imagine walking in a shoe that's a half size smaller than your actual, actual shoe size for seven years. It was a nightmare. And I, I kept saying, oh, the ring is not fitting because I've gained so much weight, not thinking that the ring was an entire size too small. That's the side story. But while I was getting my ring size, I got a call from my godmother and she was like, hey, you need to go check out this deal at Home Depot. Um, they have paper towel on sale that's ringing up for like two seventy eight. So this may not be a deal in your area. It may, it may not be. And I always like to say MMV, your mileage may ver vary, your manager may vary. So definitely check it out before you just go in there like with tons of paper towel. But I was able to get the Bounty paper towel. I'm going to show you guys my receipt. So here is my receipt. And if you guys can see here, I paid $29 and 89 cents. $29 and 89 cents. So they were ringing up for 278 each. Not sure how clear that is. This so let me just say that it is not like all bounty. It's the one that says six equals eight. And I load it up, okay? I didn't clear the shelf, but almost, I loaded up. All 
right, so the last item or last sale that I found was an event planning sale. And speaking of an event planning sale, Eve Avermart has one right now. I know many of you guys are looking to build your inventory. Um, and now is the perfect time if you're getting like tax money and things like that. Definitely take that to start building and buying things for your inventory, okay? Um, so with that being said, this light is doing something crazy again, but hopefully you guys can see me just fine. Um, with that being said, I went on Amazon and I shared this deal in my community. Not sure if the deal is still a good deal or not, but it was about the little baby letters. You see in the big, like people do the baby boxes and everything. So they had the baby letters on sale. And they had them on sale for the go. So it's like the box and you put the box together. I'm opening it with you guys. It look, ooh, Lord. So anyway, it looks like you have to put this sucker together. My good, oh, okay, it's pretty easy. I was gonna say, my Lord in heaven, we ain't gonna be fooling with this box because Miss Melanie don't do well. Y'all know Miss Melanie don't like, um, Oh, goodness gracious. Why would they? Why? Okay. Oh, it just popped right in. Oh, there we go. See, it just popped right in. I'm making things all extra. They don't even have to be extra. But anything dealing with a ruler and carrying on, y'all know I, I don't like it. Woo. So anyway, this is the box and they all stack up. They made pretty sturdy. I like this too because you can store them well and then you just kind of do the little flappy do do hickey and then you slide the little piece down in the box you got a little tutorial all right so that's the box all put together let me straighten that side out okay so that's the box all put together all right Pretty big, right? Pretty big size box. And then you take the letters and they got the letter baby, B-A-B-Y, and the adhesive. So that's the letter and you stick it on the box. So we're just gonna take one out. I'm so sorry for crackling this paper. Oh, it's several B's and several A's. So you can do baby all around the box. So that's it. See the letter B right there really cute i like this so you can just make it oh see i told you guys it's like more than one b so that's two b's right there so you could spell it like all around the box so you could take the b and the a and all that and put it spell baby on each box and it was like i think 8.99 or 11.99 anyway it was a great deal and i love the fact that you can um easily take it back apart to store it. If storage is an issue in your home or if you don't have a full storage area, you could take this and easily store it back. Okay, okay you guys, so that concludes my home decor, clothing, and event planning haul, all items on sale. Um, I think that's a huge part of living luxuriously for less is buying things off season, buying things when you find them on sale so that you can get that same quality without um, sacrificing price. So you don't have to sacrifice price for quality and you don't have to sacrifice quality for price. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you get it in time to run out and snag these amazing deals. Let me know something um, down in the comments below what you're looking forward to finding or if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to bring more and you know what I was waiting on you guys to say something but nobody said anything like y'all didn't even say anything nothing like come on did you guys not notice it like y'all didn't say anything and I've worked really hard on this and not one of you said anything nothing I'm just so ashamed so disappointed in you guys. <laughs> no, just kidding, you guys. But actually, I have been working on doing my makeup. And um, every day I've been waking up practicing because I have a lot of huge things coming up. And um, 
I won't necessarily have time to have a makeup artist on hand for a lot of the things that I have going on and I can't wait to share them with you guys. So let me know what you think about my makeup. If you can see it well, um, be, be, you guys listen, I don't mind getting constructive criticism. I really don't, but be gentle. Okay. Like you can tell people something in a way that can uplift and empower and not really like take them down. If you got that kind of spirit, like, please keep it to yourself. But if you know how to do things in a way that it's uplifting and inspiring, drop a comment down below. Okay. So that's that. Been working on my makeup, been working on my weight, been working on my business and minding the business that pays me. That's my goal for 2020. Um, I think that is all I have for today. You guys, if you are not a member of living luxuriously for less, I would love to have you a part of the Lux family. All you have to do is click that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much again for watching. And until next time, it's Melanie with living luxuriously for less. Cheers.